Yeah, climate change protesters in Canning Town. Lols! Yo, imagine, imagine, imagine going to do a climate change protest in fucking Canning Town, right? I'm from there, right? I, I, I'm from Canning Town, but maybe, you know, Canning Town slash Custom House. I'm from there. Big up everyone that used to live near Hooper Road, right? I'm from there, bro, right? Freemasons Road all day, bang, 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 right? Like, I am from there. I am fucking from there. And imagine going to Canning Town, Jubilee Station, right? DLR Station to go and protest climate change. People there have more to worry about day to day than the state of the climate. I would have to the guess they don't really give a shit about anything else outside of their own two do outside of their own doors. Sometimes one door because the other door doesn't work. So do you really think they have time to see a climate change protester um, or even a sympathy towards their protest? No. And you know when they decide to go? These crazy white people. They went there at seven in the morning. Some some of them six in the morning to go protest, brother. This is some real r white rage. This is some real, real, real shit. And bare people go to work late. And if you don't even think about the London Jubilee line, you know the Jubilee line's probably one of the my, my I hate it. It's one of my least favourite lines on the underground because it's slow. And it's fucking hot as shit. But it's one of the best lines because it basically, con it basically connects east to south to west London, right? It's one of the only stations that can take you all that route, right? And you can basically walk to most stations from the place that you end up in south or west or whatever it may be where you're going to work. So it's a very popular route. If you've been there in the morning, you know how packed that station is like from Stratford all the way until maybe to, I don't know, London Bridge, maybe Waterloo, it's fucking Rammo, right? Even maybe to maybe Bond Street, it's Ram, Ram, Ram. So to this, so for a climate change protest to go on that platform, it makes sense because it's one of the most busiest trains out there. For them to do it in the morning before people's commute on the fucking Thursday, oh, I would be pissed. So yeah, this happened this morning. <laughs> These guys are fucking nuts, man. Honestly, nuts. I uh, but it has I do have some I do rate it in one regard because you know to do this. To have this level of conviction about something that doesn't involve you or that you play a small part in is very admirable. But God almighty, man, if ever there's a way to get yourself beaten up, this is the way. Canning Town doing this nonsense. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this guy standing on top of this really cool headline, funny headline, so important Twitter. We're not in the vegan section at Waitrose, Dorothy, right? It definitely isn't. Canning Town is not Waitrose. I would have to get, you know, there's not even the Waitrose in Canning Town. There's a reason why Fold Nightclub opened up in Canning Town, right? Because there's nothing there. Right, it's a, probably one of the rare places that you can get a, a venue like Fold to exist, right? A massive warehouse space that hasn't been used, bespoke um, sound. You can have it blaring for as much as you want because no one, there's no fucking residential houses near you apart from maybe Star Lane across the road, which is again blocked out by trains. So if you insulate, if you soundproof your building well, you can be, you're basically fine. So these things only exist because of that. Because Canyon Town's a fucking dump, right? There, there are probably more chicken shops and betting shops in that area than there are, I don't know recycling centers there might be two um healthy vegan spots i can't think of one maybe there is a couple now in a new kind of era of of canada because when i went to go visit one recently like you know it there were i did hear a, a couple of french spanish italian accents and you as everyone knows those kind of people when they come into a new city they acclimatize and they then go into you know starting new businesses that's how kind of places become hipsterized or get boosted up or kind of have a, a new lease of life so you never know someone might have opened up a vegan shop or something but for the most part it's just chicken shops um, some African restaurants, um, Mac uh, McDonald's is open 24 hours, <laughs> um, loads of Paddy Powers, loads of variations of Papas and Dobos and Francos and all those fucking chicken shops that are just um, deriv um, derivatives of KFC. There's like a fake Nando somewhere around there. There's loads of all that sort of shit, right? Basically, everything is covered in oil. Everything stinks of grease. There's betting shops everywhere. People losing their money and playing roulette and all that nonsense. There's charity shops that look like, you know, I don't know. Look at they they I don't know they people they they are they kind of front for people smuggling. There's loads of debauchery happening in Canning Town, but the last place you want to go to go climate change is Canning Town because there's loads of debauchery going on there. And this video is fucking loads. There's a guy basically standing and dancing on the Jubilee Line train. People are heckling him and what, people want to get to work basically, so they're basically pulling him off the train to just throw shit at him. <laughs> Eventually they pull him off it. <laughs> And then the other guy on there as well, he thinks he's not going to get away with <laughs> There's another guy trying to like, running along. Some other, some other fucking Larry or Donald or whatever these guys' names are called is coming onto a train, right? Trevor runs on there. And his grey mild jacket, of course, trying to get this pony head, ponytail head environmentalist off the train. 
finally gets dragged off there. Look, look, look. He's got his little corduroy trousers on. His little brown loafers. Gets pulled off. Hey! <laughs> Honestly, man, I have so much to be. I, I love them. Don't get me wrong. Kind of change the protest because I know I don't have that sense of altruism or that sense of um um service or that sense of what you call it charity to go out and do these kind of things that don't concern me and that have no real larger impact in the whole climate change debate. But you know, I respect it. I respect it, man. I, to go into out in your morning, especially Dorothy or Daniel, or whatever your names are called. To go out there and do that, you have to have some level of conviction. And if you've got that to do, then fair enough. There's another video here too. <laughs> oh, it's loud, man. So funny. So that big oh, wrong, one. Wrong, one. wrong one. Wrong one. Go away. Yeah, I don't have that video. Do I have that video? No, that's it, really. Oh, another one. It's Gary responding to. Oh, it's so funny. I absolutely love this, man. I love all these climate change protests. I think they're fucking amazing. Congrats to all of them. Another another one at the Doc London Light Railway. This is a quite funny debate, actually, as they're talking. Hear this guy speaking facts. Exactly. Imagine doing climate change protests on top of a DLR, which is an electric train. It's a self it's a driverless electric train too, right? They have a conductor on there that kind of, you know. Opens it close the door for the most part, it's driverless. So it's it's probably the pinnacle of environmentalism, right? Or of, a, of an environmental alternative to fossil fuels and shit. But yet here these people are on top of it, kind of protesting. <coughs> <coughs> Hypocrisy exists everywhere, doesn't it, really, isn't it? Come on, play. Oh, why is it not playing? I don't know. Stuff like that. You, and you, I remember your place. I'll find you. We'll be going in the fucking river and take right next to Parliament. Bloody. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you can't openly threaten people with their lives, mate, over climate change. That's a bit much, but yeah. It was fucking funny. Check out the videos. They're, on, they're probably on social at the moment. Extinction Rebe hashtag Extinction Rebellion. You'll find loads of them on there. Um, yeah, these people are crazy, man. Canton people don't fuck around, man. The amount of fights I got in when I was young. I got in more fights between... I don't know what age we moved to fucking Canton, but I got more fights in that first year than I had gotten in my whole life. Just just through just pure, you know, pain, man. We're just all struggling. We're all trying to hold on for dear life. No one has any... But maybe, you know what? Maybe we're just fighting for entertainment. You know, we're just all bored. You know, you're just bored. You just, like, you just start fighting your brother. You chuck him off the top of your bunk bed and start doing moves and shit. It just gets boring beating up your brother afterwards. You just, you just go out and just start fighting strangers. Dads, mums, children, cats, dogs. You just fight whoever. Then suddenly someone kicks a ball into the air. Like, oh shit, we can just play with the ball instead. Then you start playing the ball. Then when that ball gets popped or gets kicked off in the cage, well, guess what happens? You start fighting again. It just doesn't stop. You just keep fighting. <laughs> That's basically what happens in those kind of areas. So to go there and to decide to do, decide to start protesting, gluing yourself to a train, woo, you guys are crazy. You guys are nuts, man. White people out here be wilding, isn't it? That's that's West London white people. That's those Labrador Grove white people that came over. You know, those the white people that you know gave birth to kids that you know skate in, in Palace and wear sovereign rings and wear loafers with tracksuit bottoms. That kind of people, isn't it? I'm from London, bruv. Like, go fuck off, <laughs> Joko. <Jocko> Damn <Jamie>, it, what? <laughs> oh, I'm a buffoon. <laughs>